Our next step is we need all the secrets and keys, and these keys are utilized for the Identity Experience Framework, which is our front-end service of B2C, to communicate with Azure AD. Uh, that's right, we have to communicate to ourselves, and by that uh, virtue, we, we create, uh, we require you to create some web applications allow us to, to communicate. Uh, one is going to be a kind of a a web API app that allows us to do, it allows us to talk directly, think of it like a service level, so it communicates directly. And the other one is like a proxy, which we call it proxy identity experience framework, which is client side. And that is on like on the front side, that's actually what we, in, we, we talk to and we expose certain permissions on that internal web API. So, uh, so it's kind of looking into that internal web API. So we have these kind of two application layer, one's being kind of the native, uh, native application that can kind of impersonate the user and the other one of course doing like RPC call or the other one is communicating and getting those permissions to be able to impersonate the user itself and so that's kind of really the intentions of by having those applications the next step is for the policy keys for policy keys we need to have all of the, um, the signature the signing keys and the encryption keys that will be utilized for the experience framework we have to generate those things uh, and the reason why we force you to generate it because you could have multiple types of policies in separate hierarchical, hierarchical and, and that can pretty much work. And so you want to have separate keys for each individual policy. First one we're going to generate is going to be a signing key. So let's go ahead and hit add here. I'm going to copy right out of the lab here. So uh, that way I'm not misspelling. I'm making sure I don't have leading spaces. We will generate it. This will be, um, will be a signature. And this should be an RSA. Go ahead and hit right here. And signing key. Scroll down on the lab here. The next one is going to be encryption key. So I'm going to hit add again. Value for the encryption key. Yeah, I have some leading bases there. Let's get rid of those. This is going to be RSA as well. Uh, and then, of course, encryption. I'm going to switch that to encryption, right? My encryption key. Great. And the last key for this step is going to be, uh, again, one of the use cases we're going to enable Facebook. So we have to add in the secrets for Facebook. We'll add in, uh, and this, of course, this key I got earlier before the lab is part of the requisites. And I'm going to manually input this because this key was generated by Facebook. So I got this value from Facebook when I went and all of that, that other step. Um, now I've already copied these secrets from earlier. I'm going to go ahead and copy the secrets. Um, again, the application ID is the application from Facebook. You have to create an app in Facebook, and you can generate the actual keys, the secrets, right? So you use keys and secrets kind of interchangeably. Like, um, so. so let's go ahead and um, paste in that. Uh, the name is, uh, I copy the name as well. Uh, we give you the name called Facebook Secret. It's important you follow. It is it is strongly typed, so make sure you copy it right out of the lab. Uh, we can always change this. You'll notice that it, it appends it, uh, not appends it, uh, it does a prefix of BDC underscore 1A underscore. And this is important because uh, this is uh, kind of the way that we can define that it is, the policy engine can identify that that's actually a part of our custom policies. So a little fun fact, you look at the user flows versus custom policies. One has the one, the other one has an A. So I don't know really what the A stands for, maybe advanced or something. But, but anytime you see an A, that's usually associated with a custom policy. And we'll pin this automatically. We'll reference this in our identity experience framework, which I'll show you in just a little bit. So we've got our three keys here. We're doing pretty good. Our next step is going to be the one that I mentioned earlier, I kind of skipped over, which is adding um, adding those other applications. So the Dynamic Experience Framework app, be able to get permissions to be able to do the authentication, uh, kind of behind the scenes.